There's a fly on the set, man. Who ever heard of such a thing? Have you ever seen a show with a fly like that? Not me. Hey, look. I didn't say it's fascinating, but it's real life. You know, a fly's part of nature. We're all going to be dead. Let's get into this. All right, the movie Dodgeball proves that childhood pain can lead to box office millions. What humiliating experience from your childhood could be made into a major motion picture? How? Uh, I have two. Uh, the first one is Atomic Wedgie, the movie. It's universal in its appeal and its painfulness. And the oh. second one is uh, Slow Song. It's a film about trying not to get a boner while dancing to a slow song in eighth grade. <laughs> Preferably one by Night Ranger. Night Ranger was great. Keith! I would like to see a movie uh, made about the basketball game called Rough House. In this game, the first player to 35 is the winner. The lowest player gets kicked in the ass. If it wasn't for the neighborhood retard, I would have a very sore ass. <laughs> Sue! If you can make a major motion picture with as thin of a premise as dodgeball, then you can make it about anything. How about the humiliation of red light, green light, duck, duck, goose, or God forbid, squat tag? Yes, I said squat tag, Colin. I still have bad knees from that. All these movies, uh, just uh, because we can't get enough, should star Ben Stiller in a wig and a big mustache. All right, Jim. Well, I'd like to see a movie made about a little boy that chronically takes dumps in his pants and sits in them all day. <laughs> and uh, maybe the little boy has a crush on a girl named Kelly, and the first time he gets the courage to talk to her in second grade, she goes, did you go poops in your pants? And then you can fast forward 25 years and focus on a lazy, frightened man with no self-esteem and a thousand dollar a week prostitution habit. <laughs> That's the show. Good night. <laughs>